Hello, and welcome to my Fire Emblem 15 ETC playthrough. I'm USS Gordon Captain, here with... 1776. And you're watching Chapter 3-2, Arcanist Woods. So, in this map, we get to show the domination of Myrmidon Cliff. This is one of the many few maps where Myrmidon Cliff makes a big difference over Myrmidon Grey. A cliff has eight resistance, and... This means that he gets to be frontlining instead of normally where Archer Cliff would have to be frontlining. And this is also a map where we get to witness the utter dominance of Claire. Since Claire will combine with Clive to get kills that Clive by himself would be unable to get. And Claire herself really doesn't want to fight. Um, and Clive himself doesn't want to fight these Arcanists because he takes too much damage. This map is special because all of the enemies are magic enemies. And Echoes is really infamous for none of your units having any resistance. So as predictable as it may be, uh, your units are mostly useless on the enemy phase. Here we see Cliff actually being one of the few units that is useful because he can counterattack at range. Thanks to the Lightning Sword, which just so happens to do exactly half damage to half of all the EH HP the enemies have in this map. Yes, it does want half of the damage because the enemies with Miasma do one damage themselves and then Cliff does seven times two. So this actually can come up if you had trained a knight. Um, you'd be able to, with a Steel Lance, the knight would deal one less than the Arcanist total HP. So if a Arcanist attacks the knight on enemy phase, then the knight attacks the Arcanist on player phase, the Arcanist will die with exact HP. Um, and obviously if your knight gained one level, that knight could actually just straight up one, sh one round the enemy Arcanist. The other obstacle in this map is that there are many forest styles, so you are going to be stuck with some bad hit rates. And not only that, there are also some enemies here that have the Mire spell, which is one three range, so Cliff cannot counterattack that. This so is we gotta one... take those guys out. This is the one really sketchy kill on this map. Tobin needs to crit the enemy Arcanist with the Excalibur spell. Um, he can only has 25 crit, and he needs to hit one of those two criticals. This means he only has a 44% chance of getting that critical. But he still can, obviously, we have turn wheels, and we have extra, and we can um, also use Claire. Claire can attack that Arcanist, and if she double hits the guy on the forest style, as ridiculous as that sounds, he does die. And Meyer Arcanist guy is a pain because Meyer has 10 might and 6 weight. So any enemy with Meyer automatically deals way more damage than enemy he's with Miasma. And so you really need to kill them on enemy phase before your more squishy player units like. Python fight a single one of them. Any two enemies with Meyer will one round any of our will will kill any of our player units. And so it is up to the it is up to me to find ways to kill one of the two enemy Meyer Arcanists before the third enemy phase. This formation is really important to make sure that the Arcanists want to target someone who they perceive as weak and they don't gang up on somebody. As you may notice that Cliff is very near death and he got a lucky touch on player phase and this guy went after Python. Python can survive two of these guys, but three, he's completely screwed. And in this occasion, the Arcanists decide to go after Lucas because he has the lowest rest and they perceive him as the weakest of them all. Yes, I could have made it such that Lucas was not the target and instead had them target 
um, Tobin, but I was concerned about Tobin's survival because I needed Tobin to do that attack there. I also need Python to kill this Arcanist since Claire unfortunately doesn't do enough damage to one round him after force sorry to finish him off. And now this is just the cleanup step. Um, the units that have good combat kill him, and we have to finish this map on player phase because the enemies have heal AI. So we need to find player units that can actually get to the enemies dead. Here I make a mistake, and I should have fed one of the kills to Faye, which I instead fed to Claire. Um, Faye is a much better candidate for EXP than Claire. Claire is just there to like finish enemies off and pick them off, but I could have fed the kill to Faye, and if Faye had gotten the kill instead of Claire, um, Faye EXP would be less tight. So we have to find a way around that in the next map, 3-3. Three, three. So that's the arc woods in three turns. Yes. This clear was fairly reliable outside of that one random critical, which um, ultimately this game sometimes have random, has random criticals. And the, this next map is actually one of those. And it is a lot more complex than you might imagine, even though it only has three enemies. Three enemies and one turn. It's like, this map has no right being this strategically deep, if, for the lack of a better term. Yeah, so I could have done better if I had Swap Mage Grey, but instead I have Swap Claire, which is actually worse than Swap Mage Grey. Um, Swap Mage Swap Grey would have let Claire do combat on enemy on player phase, and I wouldn't have had to use a somewhat sketchy unit to get kills. Another example of Claire just being better than you might expect. Yeah. So here, this is one of the few times I get to use Forsyth. Um, Forsyth has the Rider's Bane and. He needs to deal damage to Fernand. So there are three enemies on this map. Fernand, uh, Berkut, and Paul. Paul's not the real name of the enemy, but he's just a paladin. Um, oh, yeah. Berkut, a lot of treats. Yeah. Berkut is the hardest enemy to kill and essentially must be killed on the first turn of player phase. Um, Fernand has story AI, so he always goes after Clive if he can. And then Berkut also has story AI. He always goes after Farm Boy if he can. And that Paladin has normal AI, so he goes after the weakest player unit. In this case, it's going to be Faye, because we are feeding her EXP. Faye needs to learn Rescue before Fear Mountain Shrine, which is really far away, but she needs to get to level 10. So that's quite a lot of levels. She might be level 7 right now, but the way SOV's EXP formula works is it really penalizes you for being higher level. It doesn't help that Faye cannot fight much of anything. She's not like Clive here, for example, that just one-shot uh, Fernand at half HP. But thankfully, it's not as bad because there were people to chip enemies for Faye. So it that is the Berkut map in one turn. Join us next time for the long, complicated Desaise Fortress map.